Hi guys, welcome to House of Grace TV. If you know you've not subscribed to this channel, please do that now. And also turn on your post notification bell to get the regular messages and prayers that will build your faith, build your spiritual life, and make you stronger spiritually and physically. And always remember, God have you in mind and you're next in line for a miracle. What are those challenges you've been facing that look so difficult for you to handle? Turn on your notification bell and get messages that will make you strong, make you healthy, make you happier and strong. Thank you. No, this is the vengeance of God. Pattern. You may not know, but you are under an atmosphere and an unction that is about to change your life. Break patterns. Break patterns, no God. Hallelujah. God wants to use you. The Lord wants to deliver fathers. Not mothers, fathers. But He wants to use you here. The Lord is showing me there are at least between 31 to 41 people. Fathers right now. With negative things on their head. God is going to use you as a point of contact. Lord, let your power move to those ones. 41. I place that word in the realm of the spirit now. In the name of Jesus. I place that word in the name of Jesus. If it comes upon you, there's something in your family. If it, once it comes on you, just know there's something in your family. If you have never known it, know it now. If that fire lands on your head, there is something in your family that is giving way. So you can't escape it, except it's not on your parents. If it is on them, it must be visited now. The vengeance of the God of Israel. Inside, outside. Inside, outside. That God of vengeance. Hallelujah. There is a sister here. The fire of restoration is landing on you now. There is a sister is coming from heaven. Strong restoration of your spiritual life. Strong restoration of the operation of favor in your life. Whatever happened to it is over. It's coming afresh now. It's coming afresh now. It's coming afresh now. Every negative voice that speaks to your spirit and misleads you, making you believe it is the spirit of God. I challenge right now, every antichrist voice, masquerading as the voice of the spirit, giving you instruction, koparatai, every negative voice, masquerading as the Holy Ghost, speaking to you, giving you instructions that are activating wrong laws in your life. I command judgment on those spirits now. Hallelujah. Just be patient with me. We are rounding up. I, I tell you, the liberty the liberty that I see in the realm of the spirit, even me, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing. I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing. Very, very strange breakthroughs. What is left for you now is to awake the physical manifestation. Remember I told you, it's always in the realm of the spirit. You just thought you fell. No, keep watching. You will soon see dimensions of breakthrough that even you, you will not be able to account for. Some of you will start make sure you testify. Many of you from tomorrow, you will hear your loved ones, even things they didn't discuss with you. They don't know what happened, but you know what happened to them. I prophesy over your life, carry favor. Carry favor. 
from the realm of the spirit. Let there be a release of favor passing through the hands of men into your life in the name of Jesus. Hear me. I've not prayed for students writing exams. People have been sending me text messages I'm not happy with. Let's change some things now. Every mistake you have made in your exams that is reflective of your humanity, that is reflective of your carelessness, from the realm of the spirit, we correct it now. From the realm of the spirit, we correct it now. Anyone here who has been going blank in the exam hall, Sabata Katoto Basile Katabaria, Rakatas Kalabra Heseke Debala Lavakashipradia. I command that blinding spirit. I command it to leave your mind now. Hear me? From tonight, may you have dreams and see your questions. I release it to you. In the name of Jesus, advance revelations by the Spirit. Over your most difficult exam, you will see them before you write them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here who has not testified and has clapped for others while they testify, I give you now to miracles have as sorry as the God of heaven is, by Friday, as surely as God lives, return with a strange testimony. Believe me, return with a strange testimony. Whatever has refused to walk in your life, I force it now to start walking. You hear me? Whoever has despised you because of something on you that kept making people despise you, I place something else on you and I command that shame and reproach be rolled away from your life. One more time, I place something on you. It's an unction, it's a grace. And with it, I roll away shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, a little instruction for us. Don't miss miracle service. From now till Friday, please make sure you take at least, even if it is 10 to 15 minutes every day, praise and rejoice and dance before God. Do this thing I'm telling you. Just do it. Be obedient people. Don't be foolish. You don't have to be the one to sing. Go and get, uh, um, get whatever it is. And you don't have to dance in the presence of people around. If your room is not convenient, find one bush somewhere. Stroll around. Prayer department on Tuesday. Take out some time. Even if it's 30 minutes. You will put it. Dance before God. Huh? Dance on behalf of the house. For miracle service before God. Rejoice as if you are out of your mind before God. This is what I want you to do. Please listen. I want you, if you can, to write your prayer request. All I want you to do every day is place it on the ground and dance your life before it. Please, Koinonia, I can kneel down and beg you. I love you and I want you to experience results. I will not tell you what I'm not doing. Write it down. You can write it this night. No job, no marriage, bad luck, no breakthrough. For your loved ones who are spiritually sensitive and they will not laugh at you, tell them this is an instruction. They should do it. 
if both of you, if two or three of you are believers and you love God and you believe in yourselves, you can do it together. Anyone that is doing big man is in here. I tell you, that's the person who will never see any results. All this big man is in, big man is in, is why people don't get results. Are we together? Dance before him. If you can do it in the night, that's the best time for you. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or as the Holy Ghost instructs you. Dance before him. Do you know what you are doing? You are mocking Satan. You are literally, literally mocking the devil. The Bible says in Psalm 2 that the Almighty will sit on his throne and laugh first. After that, he will now execute vengeance. You are dancing. Forget about the problem. Remember we just read that whatever we see can change. So write it down. SS, write it down. If you're, let your aunties participate. No pregnancy, write it down. I finished school 10 years ago, no job. Don't start saying, Lord, see my genius, have job. That, that's a stupid thinking. Don't let that spirit of bitterness come. Let me give you a little precaution. This prophecy has been declared in the open now. Satan will orchestrate people to annoy you. Hear me. Hear what I'm telling you. The devil will orchestrate people to annoy you. Some of you, as you are going back now, you will see things that will kill your joy. Some of you is in your home, right in your home. Your husband, your wife, your children, even yourself. Some of you will hear a foolish report. Just know that's the devil trying to rob you of what must manifest this week. We are agreeing with God. The moment a thing provokes your spirit, just laugh it away. Laugh it away. I know it's painful, but laugh it away. You can be crying in your spirit, but don't let the devil see your tears this week. This week is a week of joy. Provoke yourself. Somebody calls you and says, it will not work. Just like you said, that rent, with, I thought you prophesied that it will happen this week. The rent is no longer coming. Don't worry. Laugh. They call you at your job place and somebody wants to come and harass you and make nonsense and rubbish. Don't worry. Laugh. Enter your room. Lock your door. And, and laugh at the devil like a fool. I mean laugh literally. And dance before God. Dance before God. Celebrate him and dance before God. You may be sweating. I know there is heat. But dance before God. Let the sweat keep coming. After, don't prophesy. Don't do anything. Just dance before God. Next day, carry your request again. Dance before God. On Tuesday, prayer department, after you pray, take out time. Dance on behalf of the house. Let's see the power that will stop you from triumphing this week. This third month, it will not finish all before you have your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your hands everyone. Thank you, Jesus. We wave it to you, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. You are the one who has given us access to life. You said the kingdom is for little children. We are doing things that look very childish. We are doing things that look very stupid, very immature. But Lord, in this foolishness, you have hidden the wisdom of God. In this supposed ego thinking activities. You are producing dimensions of glory that will cause the ears of men to tingle. Please put your hands down. Now you are here. Our time is gone. Keep standing, everyone. You are here and you've not given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please hear me. Inside, outside. These realities that we release by the Spirit are meant for Christians. Born again, serious believers. In case you are here this night and you say, man of God, my ways are not right with God. I have never truly made a genuine decision for him. Or, you are saying, please let me have your attention. You are saying, man of God, at one point I made a decision for Jesus. But as it stands right now, I am not right with God. Can you pray for me? Yes, I want to pray for you. Wherever you are, inside, first overflow, second across the road and online, Wherever you are, make your way right now. I want to pray with you. We have one minute for this. Don't sit back thinking and don't be ashamed. Let's encourage them as they come.
wherever they are, God bless you. Start coming. Start coming. You come and stand here. He's not the only one. I believe there are still more people outside. God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. Quickly, come. Quickly, come. The Lord began to talk to you since from beginning of the study. He doesn't have to do a special one now. Come. You are standing on behalf of your family. You are standing on behalf of your destiny. You can fake it with men, but not with the realm of the spirit. Come, young and old, make your way. Please, if you are coming, hurry up. Encourage them if anybody is coming from your end here. And don't stop them. Don't pinch anybody and stop them back. Let them come. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. I love every one of you who are coming to make a genuine decision for Jesus. Join us, join us. Those coming from outside, if you are still running, just come. It's not too late. Lift your right hand and stay after me sincerely. Join them. Lift your right hand. Stay after me sincerely. You are talking to the God of heaven now. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. And I love you with all my heart. I'm sorry for the way I've lived my life. I declare this night that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. My life belongs to you. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From today, I move forward ever and backward never keep the hands lifted father these ones have declared unto you sincerely from their heart i agree with them and i decree and declare oh god that you accept these ones to turn their lives around in the name of jesus may they begin to experience your grace and your glory by the power of the holy spirit let the lines fall for you in pleasant places and may you have a goodly heritage i bless you I bless you with love for God. I bless you with passion for spiritual things. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for standing here. I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details. Please politely walk with them. Give them your details and you'll be back to your seat. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching this channel. Please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do that now. And also turn on your post notification bell to get a regular prayers that will build your faith. A regular prayers that will make you strong. What are those challenges? What are those battles? Those hidden battles you've been fighting that look so difficult for you? Log on to this and hold on to Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. And make sure your faith is strong and healthy. Thank you.